Hi everyone, I wanted to speak tonight about the subject of falling short. And the Bible verse that I have chosen is from Romans chapter 8 verse 23. And it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Um, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, um, I know when life is hard and um, we can think that we are the only ones that are not getting it and everyone else is getting it, but your word is very clear. We all fall short of the glory of God and we all sin. And so, Father, I pray that um, we would take your word to heart that um, if we stay very close to you, we, the Bible says if we keep in step with the Spirit, then we will not gratify the desires of the sinful flesh. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray, amen. You know, there's not a human being alive that doesn't know um, the pain of falling. Sometimes, you know, we ourselves have fallen and it hurts. It hurts when we see that we're, we think that we are further along and we're not. Um, I think about Peter, of course, everybody knows about how Peter um, was so sure that he was not going to deny the Lord and he not only um, broke that promise but he ended up doing it three times he denied the Lord and we know we have our own little things that we have done too um, I've shared about me with my food issues for years and years I break that promise about the food you know, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to binge. I'm not going to do that. And um, um, start off wonderfully. And then the next thing I know, I was back in the food. But sometimes even the hardest thing is when um, you, someone that you trust does something uh, really raunchy. And it's very disappointing. It's so disappointing that we just um, can't even see how we could possibly forgive them. But the Bible tells us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And this is one thing I know about Jesus Christ, why we need a Savior. Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Um, we are going to disappoint. And we are going to um, have people do things disappointingly um, to us. And so we have to learn how do we cope in this world. Um, knowing our own imperfection and knowing the imperfection of those around us. Um, and one, you know, the, the big way is to have the Spirit of God living in us. Uh, we can't do it without that Spirit living in us. We can't do it. And the way that we get the Spirit living in us is that we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus is God. God who cares so much that he came as a human being. He came and lived here. He took the form of a human um, so that he could not only show us how to live, but to also be that perfect sacrifice that the Bible tells us that is needed. We need it um, like they would have perfect um, animals and they would sacrifice those animals. Um, Jesus became our lamb. 
our Savior. He is our Savior. And those who accept what he has done on their behalf, then what happens is that they get the Holy Spirit. They get forgiveness for their own sins, but they also get him who lives inside of us. God lives in us. God in us. You know, Christ in us, the hope of glory. And so we learn about this spirit living in us. And that's why we stay in the word. And we learn to keep in step with the spirit. So we ourselves are not part of the problem. That we're not continually doing stuff that is hurting us and hurting other people. And then when we do things that um, hurt us and hurt other people, we don't waste time continuing in it. Uh, we don't have to be afraid of God anymore. We go to him and we tell him we're sorry and really mean it. And he takes care of it. And we don't have to go around feeling heavy for falling short. But this is the biggie. We don't have to go around hating people who are in their flesh. We don't have to do that. Um, you know, it used to be that I would think if somebody was really messing up, then it was my job to not only let them know how they were messing up, but to let other people know <laughs> that they were messing up. You know, and when I'm doing that, then I'm putting myself in place of God. I'm being the judge. I cannot do that. The Bible says, yeah, if I really care about that person, then I am going to be in fervent prayer for that person. Otherwise, I am part of the problem too. Falling short is part of living on this side of heaven. And so what we want to do is to help more and more people learn how to keep in step with the Spirit. And before they can do that, they have to have the Spirit living inside of them. And the way they get the Spirit living inside of them is that they go to the Lord. They go to Jesus and take the forgiveness that he wants to give to them. So they're not so heavy that they're acting um, like flesh. They're acting like they don't have to be anymore. We don't have to be a part of the devil anymore. We don't have to be his little marionette doing everything that he wants us to do. Um, we can be free, free, forever we can be free. And so um, my prayer is that, number one, you have given your life to Jesus. And number two, you are still keeping in step with the Spirit. And number three, you are staying in the Word so you don't keep forgetting that you're not your flesh anymore. And not only that, that when people are in their flesh, yep, they are quite ugly. But guess what? When we get into our flesh, we're quite ugly too, all right? So we don't want to be fighting the wrong enemy, either on the outside or the inside. We're not sitting around taking people's, as they used to say, taking people's inventories and, you know, doing all the do. We don't need to do that. And neither do we um, beat up on ourselves, you know, eating boxes and bags of stuff because we disappointed ourselves. Mm, you know, we're not the Lord. We are not the Lord. There is the Lord. And thank God we belong to him. But let me pray right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, um, thank you for Jesus. Um, I thank you because even as I make this video, it is the day we are celebrating 
a good Friday. And it is truly a good Friday. I thank you, Father. Thank you for redeeming me. Thank you for giving me new life. I pray if there's anyone who is listening to this and they don't know you, I pray that they will come to know you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I pray. Amen. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.